hi guys how you guys doing you're welcome to my channel i hope you're staying safe i hope your environment is peaceful we pray for a good outcome in this election meanwhile i would love to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers thank you for liking thank you for watching and thank you for commenting on all my videos i really appreciate you guys god bless you on today's video we'll be cutting a drape cow kaftan dress i'll be making use of this beautiful print for this project and i will use this satin fabric for the neck area it will be like a bow if you can see the thumbnail on this video you will see this gown has a bow there so i'll be using this satin fabric for that neck area okay guys i've placed my fabric on the ground you can see how it looks. i place it into two then and i'll place it again to make it into four so now we're cutting the front and the back together first thing we have to do we get the length of the gown the length of the gown i'm working with is 57 so i'll just measure 57 like this plus folding allowance which is 58 so after getting the length of the gown now we get the hip line i'll be using 24 for the hip line so i'll mark 24 like this you can see the way i'm marking my 24 inches mark then i'll mark the, where the drape will start from the drape will be starting from the new line which is 39 inches so now connect these lines together after marking this this is the hip line this is the new line where the drape the cow effect will start from then now we have to get where our ham hole the ham hole the, the ham hole when i mean the ham hole where your hand will come out from from the gown so now come down from this line here by 10 inches this is my 10 inches mark this is where the hand will come out from which is the ham hole this is the hip line and this is the new line where the cow effect will start from which is the drape then the remaining one is the length of the gown so now after getting this now when you want to draft this cow kaftan bubu you just have to measure from this bone area on your neck to where you want the sleeve to be mine is 20 is that you do it this way like this 20 you just mark 20 here hole you just measure your back first the back i'm working with is seven then the remaining one will be the sleeve plus folding allowance which is 13 inches either way it goes after that we have to get the neckline the neckline we're working with we're working with 2.5 for the width of the neck this is the width of the neck and i will come down by three inches you know we are cutting the front and the back together so i'll be marking the front neckline and the back neckline together now this is the front neckline i just marked connect this with my french curve i'm done with the front neckline now we have to get the back neckline so the back neckline will still be using 2.5 and will come down by 1.5 inches so we just shape this to this area like this so now we've gotten the front and the back neckline now we come down from this line here we have here by 1.5 inches this is my 1.5 inches here then i'll connect this line to the neck area after doing that the next thing we have to do is to just come down from what we have here we have 20 inches here we'll come down by that 20 inches to this ham hole area like this and connect the lines together now I'll bring the 20 inches mark down to this 10 inches mark we have here. Connect it to this 1.5 inches we came down here. 
like this so now we'll leave this and come to the hip area we'll divide the hip by four the hip i'm working with is 44 44 divided by four give me 11. so i'll put my 11 inches mark here i'll add two inches for ease this is a two inches mark then one inches for seam allowance altogether the measurement i have is 14 and a half so now i'll bring this 14 and a half and put it down on this new area here we have 14 and a half here i'll mark it here now I'll come to the hem of the gown which is the length of the gown and mark 14 and a half like this you can see my 14 and a half here now I'll connect this line to this new line here that we have with a straight line I'll come to this handhold area here where the hand will come out from and come in by one inches so now this place is not 20 anymore, it's now 19 inches. And I'll just connect it with a slant line like this. Okay, I'm done with that. Now I'll just come to this new area and just connect this new line to this one inches I came in. Just straight down. I'll just connect it. It's not be straight. I'm sorry, it's not be straight. I'll just do this like this. You can come up by two inches and just and see the way I'm going in so this is it just connect it it will not be straight so you can see the way I connect mine this is how you should connect yours to the one inches mark we came in from the armhole area now I'll cut this out guys I'm done with the cutting of the gown now we'll cut the neck we'll cut the back neckline first before we work on the front neckline so guys I'm done with the cutting of the back neckline now let's cut the front neckline cut it out like this because of the passage of the head I will come down by three inches and mark we'll be slitting this open so it will be easy for the neck to pass so now we're cutting this pieces to use and turn this slit we have here so i'll be using this pieces to turn the slits i'll go to the sewing machine and sew this down i'm done with the turning of the slit you can see how it looks now we have to join the back to the front at the shoulder so I will join these on half inches like this and I will join the other shoulder also on half inches I will go to the sewing machine to join the shoulders on half half inches I'm done with the joining of the shoulders now I will go to the sewing machine and I will fold in the sleeve this way like this on one inches after folding it like this I will join it together and join the sides on one inches straight down so now let me do this and show you what it looks like I'm done with the folding of the sleeve and I've joined the sides also the both sides of the gown now we have to fold the hem of the gown on one inches so I'll be folding the hem of the gown like this, half inches and half inches again all round. All right, guys, I'm done with the hemming of the gown. You can see how I fold it in. Now let's work on the neck area of this gown. So now, you know there's a tie on the neck. So we'll measure the neck first, like this. We have nine, so all together will be eighteen. Nine plus nine is eighteen. So now uh, we cut the belts or the tie we use for the neck. 
now this is the belt we'll be using for the neck area the width of the belt is 2.5 and the length is by 62 so now i'll just launch the middle of this collar let's just call it collar i will launch the middle so it will give me a guide and open it up from this middle here i will measure nine inches and mark i'll come again to this other side and measure nine inches and mark i'll be sewing like this all the way to this nine inches mark i have here but when you want to sew you just come by two inches and do it in a form of belt like this just let's just shape this out i'll do the same thing at the other side also so after sewing this we'll sew it to the gown so now let me go and sew this and show you what it looks like all right guys i'm done with the tie or belt let's call it tie i'm done with the tie you can see how it looks so now we're fixing this on the neck of the gown so to fix this you have to launch this midpoint of the back neckline so we're starting from the back of this gown so we fix it this way we make sure the launches are together like this and we'll be sewing on half inches let me pin this down so you can understand what i'm saying so after pinning down like this we'll now use this one to fold it in this way like this all the way round the neck so now let me do this and show you what it looks like all right guys i'm done with the fixing of the collar you can see how it looks this is the inside of the collar and this is the outside of the collar you can see how it looks now I'll give this a good press and display this on my dress room for you to see how beautiful it is yay we are done with this gown you can see how it looks thank you guys for watching to the end i really appreciate you all please like share and comment on this video because when you like this video it gives me the courage to do more for you thank you i really appreciate you see you guys on my next video god bless you